Hello guys, welcome to today's Bible story. Today, we're going to be learning about Samson. Hey guys, welcome back to Twins and Eddie. I'm Daniel, I'm David, and I'm Eddie. Here on this platform, we share edifying and fun videos for kids and for family too. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can be reminded of every time you post a new video. Also, smash that like button. Let's get back to the video. So, there was this man in the Bible named Manoah. Manoah was married, but he and his wife could not have children. They really, really, really wanted a child. They tried and tried and tried to have a baby, but no, no baby was coming. One day, an angel appeared to Manoah's wife. Yes, she could see the angels with her eyes. And the angel told her, Hmm, I know you guys want to have a baby so bad, and I'm happy to let you know that God has finally decided to give you a baby. And guess what? That baby is going to be a very, very strong child because God is going to use him to deliver the Israelites from their enemy. One thing though, the angel told Manoah's wife, you must not drink wine. When that baby is in your belly, when you get pregnant with that baby, do not drink any wine because that baby is going to be a very special child. He's going to be a Nazarite. Also, you must never cut his hair. When the angel left, Manoah's wife ran to Manoah. Manoah, Manoah, we are going to have a baby. Finally, we are going to have our own baby. Manoah said, come on, woman. How do you know that? Why are you saying that all of a sudden? She said, oh, I saw a man. He was so beautiful. He was so awesome. He looked so great. And he appeared to me. And he told me, I'm going to have a baby. I should not take wine. I should not cut his hair. He's going to be strong. She went on and on and on. And Manoah said, calm down. Down. What's the name of the man? She said, um, I did not remember to ask him for his name. Okay, Manoa said, where did he come from? Um, I did not remember to ask him, but he did not look like a man. He looked so beautiful. Manoa said, okay, let us pray. Guys, whenever we are confused about anything, what do we do? We turn to God in prayer. That was exactly what Manoa and his wife did. He prayed to God. God, we're confused. Who is this man coming to promise us a baby? Whoa. And you know what, guys? God answered their prayer. Another time, when Manoah's wife was alone, the angel came back again. He came back to her and she said, oh, hold on, hold on. I need to get my husband. She ran inside and called Manoah. Guess what, Manoah? The man is back. The man is back. Manoah said, which man? That man I told you about, remember? Oh, yeah, he's here. Come on, let's go. And so they went and they sat with the man. And Manoah said, um, my wife doesn't really know where you come from. And she said, you told us we're going to have a baby. Is that true? Yes, the angel said, it is true. Don't worry about where I come from. Don't worry about my name. Just know that God is going to give you a child. And like I told your wife, he's going to be a special child. He's going to be strong. He's going to be powerful. Do not cut his hair. And do not take any wine when your wife is pregnant. And truly, Manoah's wife got pregnant. And then she gave birth to a baby boy and she named him Samson. His hair was so long. And as he grew, he grew very brave, strong, and powerful. And his parents never cut his hair. And they also warned him, Samson, God said you should never cut your hair. Don't ever cut your hair. So Samson continued to grow and grow and grow and he became a very handsome young man. One day Samson went out and he saw a beautiful young lady. But Samson was an Israelite and the lady was a Philistine. Remember I told you that the angel said God was going to give them a child and God was going to use the child to deliver them from their enemy. Yes, the enemy was the Philistines. 
that was another country. They were the enemies of the Israelites. And the Israelites were God's people. So God wanted someone that would rise up and fight against the Philistines and he would deliver the Israelites from the hands of their enemies. But Samson came home and said, well, I love this Philistine lady and I want to marry her. She's so beautiful. And his parents didn't like it. They said, Samson, there are so many young and beautiful women in Israel. Why do you want to marry a doctor from our enemy? But Samson kept insisting and insisting and insisting. I love her. I want to marry her. I don't care if she's a Philistine. I just want to marry her. Until his parents gave in. So one day, Samson was going to see the lady he wanted to marry. And on his way, a lion, a big lion, came out from nowhere, roaring at him, ready to attack him and ready to eat him up. But Samson, remember, God said he was going to be really strong and he was a special child. The Spirit of God came upon Samson and he had so much strength that Samson, with his bare hands, killed the lion. He killed the lion just with his hands. No cutlass, no gun, no machete, nothing. Just with his hands, he killed the lion. Can you believe that, guys? He killed the lion and went on his way. He just went on his way like nothing happened. On his way back home, he saw the dead lion. But there were many bees that had swamped the lion. And you all know that bees produce honey. So Samson scooped some of the honey on the dead lion's body. He scooped and he scooped and he scooped. And he took it home for both his father and his mother and himself. He never told them that he killed a lion with his bare hands. He never mentioned it to them. But he just gave them the honey like, well, see what I brought for you. And they took the honey. One day, Samson was hanging out with the Philistines. And he said, you know what? I have a riddle for you guys. Whoever is able to solve this riddle, I'm going to give him a gift. If you all can solve it, I'll give you a gift. But if you all cannot solve it, you all are going to give me a gift. They said, okay, Samson, what is the riddle? And Samson said, out of the strong came something sweet. What is the strong and what is something sweet? And of course, nobody could solve it. But you know what the Philistines did? They went to meet Samson's wife. You remember Samson married that Philistine girl? Yes, so they went to meet her. See, your husband Samson has given us a riddle and no one can solve it. Now you're going to help us cheat. You're going to go and ask him and then you're going to come back and tell us the answer. Or else we're going to kill you, kill your whole family and burn down your house. Of course, Samson's wife was so scared. So she went to meet Samson. Samson, you need to tell me the answer to the riddle. And Samson said, no, that's cheating. I'm not going to tell you because you're going to go and tell your fellow Philistines. But the wife kept on nagging him and crying and asking, they're going to kill me. They're going to kill my father. They're going to burn our house. Please, you need to tell me if you love me. Well, Samson gave in and told the wife, well, something strong is the lion and something sweet is the honey. Remember Samson killed the lion and he got honey from the lion? Yes, that was his riddle. So he told the wife the answer and then she in turn went to tell the people, well, this is the answer. And so the Philistines came back and told Samson, we know the answer to your riddle. Of course, what is stronger than a lion and what could be sweeter than honey? So out of the strong came something sweet. That means the lion and the honey. And Samson said, fine, I know you guys cheated, but because I gave you my word, I have to give you all gifts. And then Samson went out. Remember, Samson was so super strong. He went out and killed Philistines. He killed 30 Philistines and took their clothes and other things they had on them. And then he used those things as gifts for the people that solved his riddle. But he was really angry with his wife because she helped them cheat. And then he left her and went back to his parents. After this, Samson had many fights with the Philistines and each time they tried to kill him, they could not. He would kill all of them. He killed thousands of Philistines. You would think Samson would then stay away from the Philistines, 
but no, Samson went ahead to marry another Philistine woman. He saw her just like he saw the first lady and said, yeah, now that I'm no longer married to that other lady, I can marry a new wife from the Philistines again. And this time, the woman's name was Delilah. Samson loved Delilah so much and he told her, Delilah, I want to marry you, okay? And then the Philistine said, yes, this is our time to catch this Samson. So they went to Delilah and said, Delilah, you know you are one of us. You are a Philistine and Samson has killed a lot of Philistines. So this is our time to get our revenge. You have to tell Samson that you love him so much and let him marry you. And then you are going to find out what is the source of his power. Once we know the source of his power, we will be able to take him down. And Delilah agreed to their plan. She agreed because they told her, we're going to make you so rich if you are able to find out the secrets of Samson's strength. And so Delilah started asking Samson, Samson, my love, can you tell me why is it that you are so strong? What is your secret? And Samson kept lying to her. Oh, if they tie me with the rope, if they tie me with fresh rope, if they tie me with a new rope, if you twist all my hair. And each time Samson lied to her, Delilah would do anything Samson said and she would call the Philistines to take him down. But each time they came to take him down, he would stand up and defeat all of them. And then Delilah started crying. Oh, Samson, you don't love me. Why do you keep lying to me? Tell me the secrets of your power. Delilah was a betrayer. But Samson was not wise enough to flee and run away from that betrayer. He stayed with her and he kept on lying and lying to her. But one day, he had no choice because Delilah kept on asking and asking and asking him. And then eventually, Samson gave away his secret and told her, Delilah, I'm a Nazarite. I can never cut my hair. Any day I cut my hair, I'm going to become powerless. And so Delilah happily went and told the Philistines, I have got him. We just need to shave his hair. She made him fall asleep and then she cut off all his hair. And that was it. The Philistines came upon Samson. Oh, Samson thought it was like before. He would just get up and fight all of them. But when he tried, he saw that he did not have the power. The spirit of the Lord left Samson. Friends, we must be careful never to do anything that will make the spirit of God to leave us. Whatever God says we should do, we should try to be obedient. We should ask him for the grace to be obedient to him so that we will not push him away from our lives just like Samson did. They captured Samson, the Philistines, because he had killed so many of them and they wanted the revenge. They captured him, they plucked out his two eyes and they put him in prison. After a while, Samson's hair began to grow back gradually. And then one day, the Philistines were having a feast in a big hall. There were 3,000 of Philistines there. They were rejoicing. Oh, we have captured our enemy. Go and bring Samson. Let him come and dance for us. Let him come and display for us. He's our enemy. Now we have gained victory over him. And so they brought Samson into the hall where 3,000 Philistines were gathered and they were having a feast. And then they brought Samson. Samson, dance for us. Perform for us. You don't have eyes. Look at you, weak man. They started mocking him. And Samson said, oh, please, can I rest on the pillar in the building? They made him rest on the pillar. And Samson prayed silently to God. God, please, just this last time, give me your strength. And God answered Samson and his strength came back on him. And Samson pushed down the pillars of that building with the whole of his strength. And the whole building collapsed. And everybody inside that building, including Samson, all died. And that was the end of Samson's life. So friends, we have come to the end of Samson's story. I hope you had a great time learning about Samson and I hope you learned a lot of lessons from Samson's life. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.